need to do that again. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> again. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to a productive day in my life. I have a huge checklist of things that I've been pushing off but I now need to do and I'm using this video as an excuse to like do them but it's kind of like the opposite of an excuse because it's like forcing me to do them but like you get the point. It snowed out last night. It's only like an inch out there but like it's pretty. I have shorts on by the way. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> sorry. That attitude is very unnecessary. My bathroom's a mess. I'm sorry. In the past I would come out here ahead of time and clean up my bathroom a little bit but now I just don't care. Which spa had band? Comment down below. We got this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, or this one. <laughs> Mouthwash! You guys bored yet? <laughs> floss! I got these floss sticks from Walmart, and they kind of taste like latex gloves. Um, the question is, should I be concerned? I have a funny story. One time I was flossing my teeth with one of these, and it got stuck in between my teeth because I was trying to pull it out at the wrong angle, and I pulled it so hard that I busted my own lip. Finally done with that. Now onto the more interesting part, skincare. Or at least for me, I like skincare because I switch it up like every single day basically. So today I'm going to be mixing the facial cleansers. This one by CeraVe and this one by Mario Badescu. I'm going to be mixing them. They're probably gonna like cancel each other out somehow, but I don't know. I thought it would be fun. I either do micellar water or witch hazel. I think today I'm gonna do witch hazel. This is what I mean. I switch it up every single day. I also heard though that witch hazel is not good for your skin, but I don't wanna waste this. So I guess we're using it. I paid money for this, so it's getting used. But when it's gone, I won't repurchase. When I was battling my inner demons, I was completely neglecting my skincare. I was doing the bare minimum and my skin was paying the price. So I refuse to go back down that road again. I'm forcing myself to do this every single day. Finally, I'm going to be using the CeraVe ultralight moisturizing lotion. This is 30 SPF inside of it and it dries matte, which I'm obsessed with. And that's why I love this product so much. Like what is up with this? My baby hairs just do what they want. And it's kind of annoying sometimes because like those baby hairs will never grow out and they're just always gonna be sticking up like that. And then finally, I'm just gonna be putting some mangobalm.com by Glossier on my lips. This is essentially just tinted and flavored Vaseline. All right, so you may know this, you may not because I won't shut up about it. I broke my back. Well, I fractured my back. I have two stress, stress fractures in my lower back. So I have to wear this back brace. Really beautiful. She's not the comfiest, but she gets the job done. That's so cute. I've also been obsessed with this poopy jacket. I got it from Hollister. It was on the clearance rack. And it's the comfiest thing I've ever felt. First thing on the agenda this morning, I wanna proof watch a video that's going up this Sunday and upload it. The video that I'm uploading is actually my channel rebrand video where the get to actually know me tag. By the time you guys are watching this video, this other video is already gonna be uploaded on my channel. So um, if you wanna go watch that after you watch this video, be my guest. All right, so I officially proof watched my rebrand video and I'm now uploading it. I just added a couple extra tweaks that I wanted to add to it and perfect it before it goes up onto the internet for you guys. All right, so this next thing I've been pushing off for like the past couple days and I need to do it because it's, it's important. important. I just don't know why I don't have the initiative to get it done. I know it needs to get done and I know it's important, but like I just can't do it. So basically there's this thing called the NCAA Eligibility Center and this is a corporation that I have to go through in order to be able to compete a sport in college. They emailed me a couple days ago and they were like, you have a couple tasks that you need to complete. I saw the email. I actually saw multiple emails from them and I ignored all of them because I didn't want to do it. It's probably way easier than I think. Like, I don't know why I'm making such a big deal out of this. Four tasks. Required information regarding NCAA data and so I just essentially have to read through this. That's pretty easy, actually. All right, so that's, that's as I expected. It was just pretty much explaining the academic standards that they're gonna hold you to. Okay, click here once you have completed a task. Done. Official transcript needed. Okay, I already talked to my guidance counselor about that. So that's done. I already submitted my SAT scores. Eligibility exam drugs. Oh, so I just, it's more reading. Okay, all right. Look at me. I was pushing that off for so long and that wasn't even that hard. Let's check it off the list. We just did that. Next thing on the list, homework. I don't want to do this, but I know I have to. All right, so this is my religion little like textbook, if you want to call it that. Essentially what we have to do is go through these different textbook pages and create titles or like headlines for each paragraph, pretty much just a summary to show that you read it. All right, so I finally finished my theology work. That took longer than I expected, honestly, but at least it's done now. I'm going to submit it. We have to submit it through Google Classroom. So I have to like take photos of it, I think. 
Theology work's done, bam. All right, so basically I got these khaki styled Dickies pants and I don't think I've ever had pants that have fit me so perfectly. That's the style that I got them in and I got them in a size zero slash like 24. These are like the relaxed fit. I'm gonna try them on really quickly for you guys right now just to show you how perfect they are. <laughs> Hello. Perfect in length. Really like stretchy. I could like move around in these. They fit around my waist so perfectly. They're comfortable. They fit around my thighs. Like these are so much fun. So I quickly just ran down to get some breakfast. I got this like protein bar by Luna. I actually really love this. So as you can see, it almost looks like a Rice Krispie on the top. And then on the bottom, you have like a little bit of like a lemon icing. I don't, I don't really know what to call it. All I know is that it tastes really good. And for having eight grams of protein, you can't taste it at all. So I got my official acceptance letter from Brown. Finally came in the mail after like a month. So it's like this fold out thing. So on this side, it says welcome. And it's like the gates, the iconic gates that everybody walks through on their first day. And on the back, it just says like Brown University. We have this. And then when you open it up, there's my acceptance letter right here. And then on the bottom right here, there's this little sticker in here. And it just keeps going. We got the, the second half of the gates over here. Keeps going. Ah, look at that. All right, so another thing on my checklist that I've been pushing off for an obnoxious amount of time is calling up my accountant because, you know, adulting. I just have to ask him a couple questions about my taxes and my IRA. Boring. Honestly. So yeah, I've been putting off this phone call for the longest time because I don't know what's wrong with me. I avoid phone calls at all costs. Could be something that I really, really want and I still wouldn't want to make a phone call. I don't know. When am I going to get over that? So it's just a new custodian and so you're fully contributing. Okay. Plus where your tax bracket is. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. All right. So as expected, that call was relatively easy. There was nothing challenging about it and it was over in five minutes. I don't know why I was pushing it off for so long. I just really didn't want to do it. I don't know why, but you know what? It's done. Now. So, woohoo. All right, so up next, I'm just going to be doing some statistics homework. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me what I take my notes on, so I'm just gonna walk you guys through that really quickly. I use this app called Notability. You can pretty much organize all of your classes, color code them, put them in folders, etc. You can go up to all your notes up here. Here are like all of my notes from this year. There's a lot, okay? <laughs> As you can see, you can bring photos in here. You can type things. I type a lot of my notes because I can just type way faster than I can write. And honestly, it's like the same level of effectiveness for me. I'm just gonna create a new note really quickly just to show you guys some of the features on here. You can type things as you just saw. You can also use the pencil to write things. You can change the size, the color. You can create custom colors. You can highlight things. You can also change the color and size of that. You can erase things, obviously. This is probably one of my favorite features of digital notes. You can move things around and like copy and paste them. So for example, if I wanted to move this, I could just circle it, move it around wherever I want it. I could even shrink it down if I wanted to. I can also hit copy and create another one of them right down here. You can also use a little voice box. I don't use this very frequently, but I feel like in college this would be useful where you can record the lecture or the teacher speaking. So you can kind of like go along with your notes and listen back to it. If you want to learn more about the app, it's on the app store. So you can just read up about it. This is not sponsored by Notability, but I really wish it was. All right. So I finished my statistics homework. Are we ready for the moment of truth? Turned it in. Bam. She is turned in. Okay, so I just finished my psychology study guide. We were doing good on time. This is what the final study guide looks like. Kind of boring to be honest. Just a bunch of different vocab. So I think I'm gonna do something. It's kind of crazy. I, I don't do this very much. I'm gonna make my bed. I'm so bad at keeping up with making my bed, but I'm doing it for you guys today. See, cause it's productive. We're being productive. Like that literally took me like three seconds. Like what's my issue? See? Done. Fit check. Oh, I don't even know what I'm wearing to be honest. I have a plain white men's champion hoodie. Really vibrant Lululemon leggings that my aunt got me for Christmas. I have my platform Doc Martens. All right, so my dog of Charlie, who is down there, recently just got Achilles surgery because he tore his Achilles, little baby. So to re-strengthen the Achilles and the muscles around it, we have to go and take him on daily walks. So I just kind of take him on a walk around my backyard. It's actually kind of peaceful out here because it's very like snowy and serene. So I'm enjoying this very much. And so is he. Look at his little leg, aw. I forgot how crazy like the lighting is when it's snowing out. Like look at how white everything, oh, my teeth don't look good, but like look at how white everything looks. All right, 10 minutes later, we have completed our walk. So I'm here with my friend Chloe and we're going out to go get dim sum. Yeah. Yes, I've never had it before, but she's a pro. Yeah, so it's good. She's gonna teach me how to, I don't know, order and stuff. I'm gonna figure it out, but we're going to get gas first. So yeah. <laughs> 
All right, so I did get an Amazon package though, which I wanted to unbox on camera really quickly because there's three items in here and all of them are kind of contributing towards my vacation in February. So if you didn't already know, I'm going to Florida. My family is renting a car and driving all the way down from Massachusetts, down to visit my grandparents in Florida. Don't worry, we're doing it safe. We're doing it in the safest way possible. They live in a really like secluded, gated community with a lot of other old people. So they're taking a lot of COVID precautions. So do not worry. All right, so this first item I'm actually really, really excited about and I really hope this works out. It's essentially this really large silk bandana. I'm trying to do one of those tops where you like fold them. I'll put a picture in right here for you guys to kind of get a visual. So I got these super cute, like trendy sunglasses off of Amazon. I'll link all of this stuff down below if you want to go check it out. These were like really cheap, but they're like actual like functional sunglasses. Ooh, I like those. Those are fun. Okay. They were only like $7 for a pack of two of them. I also got another one in black. Fun, fun. Okay. I got these really large like hair clips to kind of do the, the twist in the back and like tie your hair up. You know, when you just like go out and you eat a bunch of food and you just feel like you could take a fat nap. Well, that's me right now, but I can't do that because I still have more homework to do, which is kind of upsetting to me. Um, I have gym later this afternoon, but I do have two more school assignments that I need to complete before then. Two hours later. All right, this lighting's horrible, but I'm here with Ashlyn. We're currently at the gym. Are we excited about it? Um, what do you think? No. Mm. Yeah, so um, I'm leaving early because I don't do anything. It's okay, good practice vibes, good practice vibes. Right? Sure. Guys, wait, wait. Yeah. Annie, wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> later so i just got home from practice we're back at home base right now i just drove cammy home from practice because she wanted a ride and i think it's like 8 30 or something right now so uh, yeah dinner hey eating a chicken caesar salad it's not good yeah okay i can't i can't I can't take them off. I can't. I'm just, I'm too obsessed with them. Anyway, I just realized that I never filmed an actual outro, so I'm gonna be doing that right now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys know what to do. I'm not gonna say much more. I'll be sure to see you all next week. We have some really, really exciting content. Like, I, the lineup of content that I have coming for you guys, you're not even ready. Anyway, get hyped for that. Stay safe, stay smart, and know that I love you. Mwah. Also, thank you guys so much for 25k. I can't believe how fast we are growing as a family. It is such a good time over here, and I'm so glad that you have joined our community. Oh, <laughs>